Hello everyone, welcome to Armas. Today we will try to answer the question, is your house bulletproof? And in this case, it's mine. Now this will be a two-part series, possibly three. The firearms you guys see here on the table will be used for part one, which comprise of the most common and popular handgun cartridges here in America. Now this is not meant to be an exact science, just a scaled down imitation or pseudoscience. Now, I am not a scientist, I'm only a layperson. And regardless, I think it will be a fun and interesting demonstration and hopefully will gather useful data. Now, before I begin, let me just safety check. So, nothing in the magazine on the P365XL, nothing in the chamber. Six hour P220 stainless steel, nothing in the magazine, and nothing in the chamber. And the Glock 29, nothing in the magazine, nothing in the chamber. Now let me go ahead and introduce the firearms that we'll be using, starting with a six hour P365 XL. And we will be using for ammunition, the Cellular and Bellet 115 grain full metal jacket. The next one is a six hour P220 in stainless steel. And the cool thing about this one is that the frame was actually manufactured in Germany. Now this will be using the Winchester white box, 45 auto, 230 grain, full metal jacket. And last but not least, we have the Glock 29. And this is in 10 millimeter, and it will be using the six hour elite performance ammunition, 180 grain, full metal jackets. Now, please forgive me. This is the only full metal jacket ammunition I have, at least at this point in time. So forgive me for the unaccounted variables. But nevertheless, I think it'll be fun and interesting to see the outcome and the results. Now, finally, before we begin, a disclaimer. Please do not try this at home. This is only a sample of one, and this demonstration does not account for all of the variables. Now, I did confer with my general contractor, and these are the building materials that were used to build my house. And with that being said, bullet performance radically differs under different circumstances and under different conditions. Now, with that being said, see you at the range. So this is the shelter box. And the title of this video will be, Is Your House Bulletproof? Now this shelter box will contain the most common building materials for a home. And in this case, my house. So the exterior wall, which will be the first wall, will be or comprise of a brick insulation or a sheet of insulation and one sheet of sheetrock, one single sheet. Now the secondary wall will be the interior wall and this will comprise of two sets of sheetrock followed by a third interior wall which will also comprise of two sets of sheetrock here so then in essence the question is is your house bulletproof against the most common and popular pistol cartridges so we'll find out the answer to this question now here we have the shelter box so this is a mini scale of a simulation of a home, namely my house. So the first exterior wall composes of brick and three quarter inch sheeting. And then it has one single sheet of sheetrock. Now this is the exterior. Now the interior wall has two sheets of sheetrock and the third one has two as well. Now we're gonna use the most common ammunition here. We have cellular and bellet, nine millimeter, and that's a full metal, metal jacket, 115 grain. We also have a 230 grain Winchester white box, and that's 45 ACP, full metal jacket. And then the big boy we have here is the six hour elite ammunition. That's a full metal jacket, 180 grain, and these are 10 millimeters. So place your predictions. I predict that the nine millimeter and the 45 will only get past or break the brick. 
the 10 millimeter I believe will maybe damage the sheathing but anyway that's my prediction Okay, so we were about maybe eight yards away, and that was a nine millimeter using a six hour 365 XL, and it hit right in the center, perfect shot. And the only thing it did was made an indention and just cracked the brick. So wow, the brick itself is a very tough hard barrier. So nothing even happened to the sheathing. So from eight yards, the 45 ACP really devastated the brick, as you can see. And right there, you just see three huge pieces and nothing to the sheathing. So, wow, everything is still intact, but a lot of energy dropped on that first exterior wall. So the 10 millimeter was the most destructive, but even at that, it still did not penetrate the sheathing. So you can see the destruction is all over the place. And nothing got past, not even this part. So let me see, whoa, see that's in half already. And then this other part here. Okay, so we're able to find one fragment from the full metal jacket and that was from the 10 millimeter round. Other than that, it was just complete devastation. Now we're gonna add the actual brick so you can see the size comparison. In reference to the devastation, that was nine millimeter. And those are the remnants of the 10 millimeter. So wow, very violent expansion and devastation but yet no penetration. So the people will actually be safe behind the exterior wall. So, wow. So now that was a 45 ACP. And as you can see, there was a lot of destruction as well, but in comparison to the 10 millimeter, it wasn't as violent. So my prediction was pretty close. It, both of them tore through the brick and so did the 10 millimeter, but I did predict that the 10 millimeter would at least damage the sheathing. But uh, nope, the people would be safe inside. So this is part one in the series of the shelter box and next will be the big bore revolvers and we'll see how they'll do. But so far, everyone's safe at home.